looks like Iori's trailer is out. And just by the reaction already on Twitter, it seems like this character is making a lot of people already happy, which is which is cool. It's like we need, need a character that people love, right? People love Iori, people love Terry, people like Keo. Give us like a mainstay classic character. I'm not saying that like Shen and these other characters are are specifically or I'm oh, sorry Shun. These other characters are specifically bad. They're not bad. It's just that they don't have the the huge legacy that these other characters kind of do have. Benny Maru is a mainstay. Yeah. That is true. Benny Morrow looked great though, but I don't know if his trailer really did it for me. I don't know. I think Iori is a character that it's like, okay, we don't know what Iori is exactly going to look like. We don't know exactly how what he's going to play like, but he's going to look different in the same way that Kyo looks like a weird mixture of a bunch of different Kyos from previous King of Fighters. Yes, in, in the wise word of Masahiro Sakurai, whoever designed this character must be a genius. Sakurai said that specifically in a, in a Nintendo Direct about Iori. So with that being said, let's take Sakurai's wise words of wisdom and approach the trailer with eyes unclouded by hate. Okay, his jacket is already 10 times better whatever the hell he was wearing in KOF 14. Ooh, shit. Okay, okay. This is pretty. The super effects are actually looking even better. <laughs> wow. Where's Iori's leg ties? They're 290s. They're, they were they were 290s. Is, are his leg ties actually gone? His weird leg strap? He finally got rid of them. He's unchained. That's the idea. His power levels are now going to be way higher because he no longer has the strap between the back of his legs. They're gone. Yeah, the trailers, I mean, obviously these trailers are not incredible. The trailers are not incredible, but Iori looks good. I think his redesign looks fantastic in the same way that I think Kyo's redesign looks really good. And uh, it looks fun. Let me, let me review a second time to see if I can pick up on any gameplay stuff or at least core mechanic stuff. <laughs> He's got cross up kick, of course. The nice thing is that it seems like a lot of characters aren't being simplified, you know? It's like, if there was already a worry that, oh no, they're gonna make KOF 15, everything's gonna be much simpler, the characters are gonna have half the moves, yada yada yada. At least from the very small snippets that we've been seeing, it doesn't seem that way, you know? So that was just an EX move, right? I think, I think, I think yellow stuff is just an example of the EX system outside of max mode sort of kicking in, right? Where is it? Right back here? Yeah, EX OTG. Okay, so that's into command normal. Into, uh, into grab special. Neat. That makes sense. So here is an example of EX Rekkas. And it leads to a launcher. I can't, I didn't play a lot of Iori in 14 to know if this is the same shit and it goes right into super. Huh. Huh. Is that the same as 14? Could his EX Rekka lead to a launcher in KOF 14? The, the ender was just a super. Gotcha, but when he was not in max mode, he didn't get that ability. That's sort of the new interesting, one of the interesting takes on the game now is that you're going to get access to much bigger combos and much more damage in turn uh, without max mode. You're not going to you're not going to absolutely require max mode to do some of this stuff now. Wait, that's the super. And I don't think we've actually uh, no, we did see max mode with Benny Maru. Uh, we did see he was activated with blue, which I don't know if we saw in this one. I don't know if we did. Yeah, he's definitely got that Iori Lank. 3D model looks good. I think this looks great. I think it looks even better slowed down. Shit, dude. There's a lot of interesting graphical stuff happening here, too. All things considered. 
<laughs> this looks weird slowed down. I wish this was from... I wish this was from the perspective of the player. Like, through his fucking fingers and stuff like that. As he's talking shit to you. And then laughs his ass off as you die. Uh, let's go back and slow this other part down a little bit more. Yeah, Iori's always been like a fashionista, you know? He's always been like a high fashion character. Is Iori a rock star? Is that actually his story? I know dick about this dude, other than the fact that he's got like, you know, Orochi stuff. Oh, he's a sax player. That makes sense with this theme. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So here's the thing I wanted to check out. Uh, this looks like a close range, normal, close range, like, uh, maybe heavy punch. This is into, uh, what was, what was his command normal? Forward light kick? Something like that? It might be different in this game. And then he cancels that into, uh, his special command grab, his running, running command grab. They didn't actually show anything on max mode when we saw that with Benny Maru, right? We saw Benny Maru do a cancel to a cancel to a cancel kind of thing. He can now actually combo into his command LK. Okay, like his overhead, right? That's gonna be kind of dangerous. All in all, I, I can never lie to you guys and tell you I'm as much of an Iori fan as uh, Masahiro Sakurai. But I think he looks good. I think the trailer itself is not great. I think Iori is a character that's more interesting to me than uh, at least Benny Maru on a gameplay level, because I at least have tried a little bit of Iori in some of the other games. Does this mean that Vice is next? I don't know. We haven't gotten one official trailer for a female character, so we might see Leona? But they're seemingly staying away from a lot of the characters that were in the re the launch trailer, right? Like the first reveal trailer? We did get Benny Maru, though. Uh, Chizuru? <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. K-Dash, we know is coming. He was in the trailer. But! But! Here's- no, here's the thing. They're going by teams. Yeah. They are indeed going by going going by the class association that they're going to be with. So, Team Hero is already represented. What team are they going to put Iori in? Right? Like, who is he going to be bundled together with? Team Jazz, Team Orochi. I would say Team Orochi. It'd be crazy if Shermi was next, but I don't know. Team Yagami. That could make sense. Mature and Vice would make a lot of sense if they were next. Team Overly Emotional. Chat. Now you're just. Now, now you're just getting into territory that I don't understand. No, shatter those expectations. Oh, okay. Gotcha. No, shatter those expectations. Somebody was saying earlier that uh, Oda, or one of the producers on KOF 14, retweeted something from Capcom about Street Fighter V. Did he retweet the, the, the new Capcom event that's going to be happening on the 11th? I'll have to check that out. Yeah, to see if one of the producers for... King of Fighters is retweeting a Capcom event of some kind. Curb all expectations. I like that. The new one should be curb your expectations.